Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Aha. Anywhere you are, stand up and begin to thank to the glory of God. He's worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, I we praise you from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I we praise you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. You are welcome to another edition of the Apostolic Church. By the special grace of God, I'm opposed to who are to be actual and the senior pastor of the World Shakers International Christian Center and doing it in Nigeria. Today I'll be talking to you very briefly on five levels of knowledge. Or let me say five stages of knowledge or five kinds of knowledge. Now we know that uh, knowledge is power. I know you have heard that say knowledge is power, knowledge is power. So there's no argument about it. Knowledge is power. What a man knows can affect his life negatively or positively. You know, John 8, 32 even says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So it is the truth you know that will make you free. The Bible didn't say the truth shall make you free. No, the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So it is the knowledge of the truth that actually sets free, not the truth. So it was, uh, the truth said, hmm. It's not the truth that sets free. It's the knowledge of the truth that sets free. So it is the knowledge that has value to the truth. That means truth that is not known is a truth that we do no one any good. But truth that is known is a truth that can bring freedom, that can bring healing, that can bring deliverance, that can bring blessings. So that shows the importance of knowledge. Now, however, there are five types of knowledge or five levels of knowledge. So we now know the best that you can rely on as a child of God if you want to make progress in these last days. Number one knowledge is what I call information. Information. That means what people tell you. So you can have knowledge based on information. People can tell you things. You will say, I know this. How did you know? It was Lagbaja that told me. How did you know? It was Harry, Henry, Tom that told me. So you can know something by what people tell you. But most of the knowledge that we have today is as a result of information that we received, either from people, from materials, from educational texts, so many things. So people, most knowledge is derivable from information. But the danger or the shortcoming of knowledge by information is that you can be misinformed. People can misinform you. So you can't really base your knowledge of something on information because people can give you a wrong information. People can give you an incomplete information. People can give you a false information. So don't base your knowledge on information because there are times that information is not correct. Then number two, observation. You can know something by observing. When you take a good look at a person or situation or a place, you can be able to deduce one or two things from what you have observed. You can say, ah, this brother, we do have been watching him for the past two weeks now. I think he has this kind of attitude. You know, so you can know somebody by being very observant. You can understand what is going on in a place by being very observant in that kind of place. So there is power in observation. But the truth is there are times that we might not observe correctly because you might assume that I have noticed this about this person, then I believe this person is like that. And you may be wrong because your observation may be wrong. So there are times that observations may be wrong. So there are wrong observations. So you can't simply base your knowledge on observation. Then number three, knowledge can also come from experience. You can know some things by experience. Oh, I know, brother, Labaka is a bad person. How do you know? I had an encounter with him, and that made me to conclude that he's a bad person. So from experience with people, or experience in places, or experience in situations and circumstances, you can drive knowledge. But the truth also is that knowledge that is based on experience is not a perfect knowledge. Because sometimes experience might not be the best teacher. Experience might not be the best teacher. So I want to appeal to us. Let us go beyond the level of knowledge by experience. Then number four, you can assume assumption. Because that is the lowest, lowest, and the least kind of knowledge. But there's a popular saying, assumption is the lowest form of knowledge. So you can assume that you know something. You can't you can, you can believe you know something by mere assumption. Oh, I saw Brother Lagwaja carrying a lady in his car. That lady must be his girlfriend. Ah, ah, bah, bah. That might be a wrong assumption. Huh? What if the lady is his cousin? What if the lady is his younger sister? So you don't just say you know something by assumption because assumption may be wrong. So knowledge that is derived from assumption is, is a knowledge that is built on the faulty foundation. Now the last kind of knowledge or the last level of knowledge which is the most reliable is revelation, divine revelation. Knowledge can come by revelation. Look at what Jesus told Peter in Matthew chapter 16. 
when Peter said, you are the Messiah. You will see that story in Matthew chapter 16. Jesus said, blessed that you, Simon, the son of Jonah. Said, for flesh and blood has not revealed it to you, but my Father, which is in heaven. So there are some knowledge that can come by revelation, divine revelation. So that is about we're going on today. I pray that the Almighty will give you revelation and will reveal things to you, things that you need to know to make you succeed, things that you need to know to make you prosper, things that you need to know to make you progress. My God, we give you that kind of knowledge by revelation because revelation can never be wrong. When it is divine, if it's not divine, but once it's divine revelation, it can be wrong. So I pray God Almighty will give us divine revelations in the name of Jesus. So that is how far we will be going on today's webcast. The next time we meet again, we'll be having another wonderful time with ourselves. Till I see you again, I'm Apostle Oliver to you. God bless you. Jesus, I we praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting, I we praise you. Jesus, I we praise you from everlasting.